Hello, dear students. A very good day to you all. I hope and believe that you are all well by the grace of Almighty because you are staying home and maintaining health rules. Side by side, you should study properly because your quiz exam has already started for the second round. And you should also read extra books uh, for gaining knowledge in this time because you are staying home. So welcome you all to online class. I'm Richard Gomez. Today I'll take English first paper of class nine, unit four, lesson one, page 45. You, sh you should open your book at page 45, the ferry boat. So at page 45, what do we see? Lesson one here, the ferry boat. A, look at the picture and answer these question. There is a picture we can see it's a boat plying on the river. Too many people are there. Crowdy situation. Some are standing, some are sitting. So the questions here, number one, where can you find this kind of boat? Number two, why does the boatman carry passengers across a river? And third one, why do people use country boats? So you should practice it orally, spoken practice you should do at home also so uh, where can you find this kind of boat generally we can find this kind of boat in village area where there is river but there is no engine boat and on the river there is no bridge so people use this thing this kind of boat number two why does the boatman carry passengers across a river as um, there is no bridge on the river and so um, on the river then to take people from one side to another side of the river the boatmen carry passengers because people need to go to other side of the river for their daily work third one why do people use country boats people use country boats because it is quite cheap for them to use that is uh, it is available the boat is available and uh, sometimes there is no option that is there is no bridge on the river or there is no engine boat for them so they use country boats so open your book the next page that is page 45 the second part b read the text and answer the following questions so i'm going through the text for you is there anybody here who has ever crossed a river by a country boat i have teacher said jamil and i clearly remember what happened in that journey would you please tell us what happened the teacher asked okay teacher it happened when i was in class six on a weekly bazaar day people were coming back with their shopping bags and baskets in hands on shoulders and heads they had to cross the river it was not a big river there was a ferry boat plying on the river the boat could cross it in eight to ten minutes it was just after sunset the weather was getting bad the wind started blowing from the northwest black clouds were moving fast in the sky so this uh, text in this text we find that a teacher is asking a question in the class and he uh, was asking about um, the experience of crossing a river by country boat so jamil was telling his experience once uh, when he was in the village at one evening it was a weekly bazaar day that is it's called hat day the normal bazaar sits every day but these kinds of bazaar weekly bazaar sits once or twice in a week so people uh, go to that bazaar to buy their uh, necessaries that they cannot find in the daily market or bazaar so they were all um, shopping um, they, ha they had all um, bought different things bags and baskets in their hands and shoulders so they came in the river side to cross the river it was not so big river but um, the weather was not good and 
the boat could cross the river in 8 to 10 minutes so the people were in a hurry because it um, it was um, just after the sunset and the weather was not good the wind started blowing so everybody was in a hurry to cross the river so what happened in the next page page 46 everybody was trying to get into the boat no more no more please wait shouted the boatman but nobody listened to him what happened then jamil asked rumi with too many people on board the boat sank in the middle of the river replied jamil oh no what happened then asked the teacher thank god there were no casualties all the passengers swam to the other side but some of them lost the stuff they were carrying such as oil salt and milk said jamil were you on the boat asked the teacher no teacher seeing the boat overcrowded i waited for the next trip replied jamil you did the right thing jamil that is when um, in the story that is in, in what jamil was telling uh, that everybody was in a hurry so they just moved to the boat and they were on board but the boatman was afraid he was telling no more no more because he could understand that there might be any accident the boat may sink in the middle of the river but the people didn't pay her heed to him so uh, many people on board the boat sank in the middle of the river and um, but it was a, a miracle that is the people generally um, know how to swim in the village area so they could swim and um, go to the other side of the river but they lost all the stuff that they were carrying the oil salt and milk and fortunately jamil was not there on that trip because he could understand that it might happen the boat was overcrowded so he waited for the next trip and he did the right thing so this is all about the text now i like to give you some vocabularies here happened verb that is occur befall or ensue bazaar noun generally market mart or plaza shopping noun the purchasing of goods from stores shoulder noun the upper joint of the human arm and the part of the body between this and the neck now five cross verb take across pass through or ferry ferry when it is in noun form a boat or ship for conveying passengers and goods especially over a relatively short distance and as a regular service number seven plying verb of a vessel or vehicle travel regularly over a route typically for commercial purposes eight blowing adjective flowing streaming or flexing number nine shouted verb of a person utter a loud call or cry typically as an expression of a strong emotion last few here number 10 listened verb give one's attention to a sound casualties noun a person killed or injured in a war or accident 12 passenger noun traveler goer or peripatetic number 13 stuff noun material components or ingredient 14 overcrowded adjective scouted populous or stuffy so here questions tick the best answer i'm just going to the answers here there are six mcqs so answer of the mcqs first of all a ferry boat was plying on the river here plying means the correct answer is c traveling along a route number two why was everybody trying to get into the boat because correct answer is d it was going to be dark and stormy evening number three the boatman requested the people to wait because correct answer is b the boat had already too many people number four with too many people on board the boat sank here the phrase on board means correct answer is a on the boat 
Number five, there were no casualties. The statement tells us that correct answer is A, nobody died. And last one, number six, the boat was overcrowded. Here, overcrowded means the correct answer is B, the boat was unable to carry any more people. So, here are some questions. The last part, that is page 47. I am just giving you the answers of the questions. Here, answer to the question long C. First one, number one, why did some people have little or no patience when the ferry boat was in danger of sinking? The answer is, you should, um, the answer may vary, but uh, the similar answer should come. Some people are always impatient. In the text, we find as the weather was not good on that day and the sun had already set, people were in a hurry to reach home before the rain and storm. So the people didn't care about sinking of the boat. Second one, no more, no more, please wait. Who said this? Explain in two, three sentences. That is, the boatman said this because he could gaze about the accident, but nobody paid heed to him. Most of them were on board. Number three, A, if we have too many passengers at a bus or train station, what may happen? Answer, if we have too many passengers at a bus or train station, then some of us don't get the tickets. And sometimes the prices of the tickets are increased as they are in great demand. Another thing, the bus or train at that time carry more people and there is a crowded situation in the bus or train and sometimes there are accidents. So the last question here be, if we have too many people in a village, town or city, what will happen? The answer, if we have too many people in a village, town or city, then people will not be able to live comfortably. People will not be able to enjoy their normal life as every place would be crowded. There will be traffic jam in the road and the environment will be polluted, which would be very harmful for all. So, mm, these are all um, the answers here. You should uh, write in different ways, but the answer should be similar. So, until next class, goodbye. Stay home and be safe. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you all.